Hi everyone, I'm Saga, and welcome to our very first mythology episode. As promised, we will be focusing on Norse mythology this month, with our first goddess being Saga. Saga is often seen as the Norse goddess of history and storytelling, but she's often associated with artistic experiences, psychic abilities, and the ability to figure out a person's needs or wants. She's also a figure of femininity, uh, divination, and inspiration. Now, Saga is sometimes depicted as the goddess Frigg's attendant. This means she is the second most powerful goddess in Norse mythology. Saga is often seen as an aspect of her, of memory and the past. Saga lives in the grand estate of Sakfa Bikar, which I'm probably pronouncing wrong, but it roughly translates to sinking beach. Now, this land is seen as a vast land full of waterfalls and rivers where Saga is seen drinking from a golden chalice, often with Odin by her side. Now, the water in the chalices is thought to be the water of memories. This can be very important because this is how the gods can kind of remember everything that has happened in their long lives. Now, Saga's name even means history in the Norse language, meaning Cirrus or Omniscience. As most of you know, long stories these days are called sagas. This is probably because of the goddess herself. Saga is also thought to have been one of the gods able to prophesize the Ragnarok. Now, for you, those of you who don't know, the Ragnarok is the Norse myth of the end of the world. I'll try and do a video on that later because it's a little more complicated. Where Saga came from has kind of been lost throughout the ages, but she's thought to have been a kind of a sea deity. She might very well be one of the grandmothers of Heimdall. And that's saying something, considering Heimdall himself has nine mothers. Now, unfortunately, there is not a lot of information about Saga out there, because a lot of people mistakenly translate the things about her into things about Frigg, because they are so closely related. So, unfortunately, I don't have a lot of information about her. At least not as much as I'd like. But what I did find, I really, really thought was interesting. And I hope you guys did too. So, if you have any questions, or maybe an idea for an episode for the future, be sure to leave a comment below. Give us a like, and be sure to subscribe. So, I'm Saga, and until next time, this is the end of our tale. Bye!